Okay, everybody, so we're in Maya 2019 and we're going to do a subscriber request. And uh, the fun part here is we're going to do it without reference. Now, normally I would use a reference because I want to copy something. This is more of a test to work from memory to see if that works out. And I suggest you do that too on occasion uh, just to test your skills, right? Now, whenever you need to make something for a client or you need to be spot on, uh, definitely use reference. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Polygon Cube. I'm going to hit Control A to open up the Attribute Editor. We're going to go in and I'm going to set the subdivision level to two by two by two. All right, that's our starting point. I'm going to hit R. I'm going to slightly stretch that out like this. And then we're going to go in here, right click on a face. I'm going to hold up my Tab key and get these four. Hit Control E to extrude. We're going to tweak the offset. Let's do um yeah 0 0.2 is about right okay we're gonna click we're gonna go in here right click at a vertex and then we're gonna select these corner vertices like so one two three and four we're gonna hit r and we're gonna scale them in to something like that right then we're gonna go back in to face hold down tab select these guys again hit four to make sure you got nothing else selected hit five to go back we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and we're gonna hit a W to pull out. Okay. Now, considering this to be the main body of the hammer, this is going to be the uh, uh, the business end of it, if you will. And uh, let's see. Here we are. We have that, and then we need to make sure that we have the proper uh, size at the end there, right? So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open up my modeling toolkit. We're gonna to go to the multi cut tool. I'm gonna to hold down my Shift key. And we're going to pull this down right there. That's an interesting effect. Let's try that again. That's pretty funky. Not sure what's going on there, guys. Not sure I've ever seen anything like that before, but there you go. All right. So we got that. And we're going to do next is we're going to queue on a keyboard. Right click on a face and drag select. We're going to control E to extrude. And let's create some thickness here. Let's try 0 0.3, 0 0.25. That should be enough. 0 0.25. Okay. Now, we don't want this to be a straight transition here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in to edge. We're going to double click on this guy. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull it out like so. That looks about right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump back in here and we're going to go back into the multi cut tool. We're going to hold down shift once again around here, I would say. And there you go. And then we're going to hit um, R to scale that. So Q, we're going to double click on this guy. We're going to hit R and we're going to slightly pull that in and hit W and move that a little bit. We just want to have a little bit of a slope going on there, right? Now we're going to go into this end. We're going to click on this edge. Let's go to Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. And it looks like I didn't get everything, so let me just uh, try that again. And there we go. We're going to go to Edit Mesh and the Bevel. Hit 5 for shaded mode, so we can tweak that. Let's try 0 0.15. Maybe a little bit less than that. Let's try 0 0.1. And it applied everywhere. That's okay. And let's see. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to take these corners in vertex mode. So 1, uh, 2, uh, 3, and Four. Let's hit W and bring it back, back in like this. And I would say that's about right. Now, I want to bring the whole thing in a little bit because this is a bit long. So we're going to go to Vertex and drag click all of this. That's probably a bit better. Yeah. And then we're going to deal with this end right here. So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to face one and two. We're going to uh, control E to extrude, keep face together. We're going to turn that off. Then we're going to increase the thickness and this is going to be curving down quite a bit. So that's the initial point that we're going to work with. 
and we want to tweak the offset because we don't want these two to touch so we're gonna have something like that alright now we're gonna add some divisions here let's do six would be about right there we go and then we're gonna have a look from this end and we're gonna hit Q on a keyboard we're gonna right click go in here drag select we're gonna hit W and let's bring this down I would say to about here take the next row and you get the idea we're gonna try to create the appropriate angle here and I'm eyeballing that right now so we might need to uh, correct that at some point but it looks okay not too bad I would say maybe some few small tweaks that's not too bad then I'm going to take this here and I'm going to leave that one alone let's see and I'll take this right here and we're going to push that out a little bit and maybe raise that a little bit okay so let's have a look see what we got not bad All right so now we need to get towards the handle part of uh, things right so first I'm going to go in here to vertex I'm going to take this guy let's push that one in just a bit there we go we're gonna right click at a face hold down the tab key get these guys all right we're gonna control E to extrude keep face together is on that's exactly what we want and let's tweak the offset again I would say to about there right so from here we're gonna hit uh, control E we're gonna hit W to move that down um, apparently I got some stuff selected back there my apologies okay guys well it's time for a little sponsor break here and without them I can make any of these videos for you guys so show them some love right and you actually might love this one so if you need 3d models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on you might want to check out render people they offer 3d posed the 3d rigged and even 3d animated people models right and they have over 3,000 products right now they cover uh, models suitable for business shopping sports swimwear evening wear outdoor and even specialty models like doctors workers and whatnot right so uh, they're high resolution 8k maps clean uvs clean meshes ready to go in 3ds max maya cinema 4d sketchup unreal engine 4 unity blender and rhino now if you guys use the link below you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you but you'll also get free models totally free models that are posed rigged and animated i don't want that so let me redo that Control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset a little bit. Too bad there. I'm gonna hit W. I'm gonna pull it down just to get something like this, right? And then we're gonna Control E again. Let's hit W to push down to about there, and R to scale that in. Okay. So now that we have that, right, what we're going to do next is we're going to hit Control E one more time. We're going to tweak the offset one more time, very slightly. Let's try 0 0.02. That's about right. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to take that Control E to extrude and W to push down. All right. Now the overall thickness seems to be okay. So we're going to try and go with the overall length of the hammer, which would probably, I would say, be something like this. And we are going to add some thickness to that, so don't worry. And the fact that this is slightly sloped upwards is fine. I'm even going to exaggerate, uh, exaggerate that a little bit. And then we're going to go back to our multi-cut tool. And hold on shift uh, let's see the thicker part of the hammer will be probably somewhere around here I would say yeah so we're gonna Q on a keyboard we're gonna right click go to face drag click all of this control E to extrude let's give that some thickness um, that would be a bit much let's say 0 0.15 I would say that's okay and then we're gonna work on that transition hit after frame okay let's get in here 
We're going to go into Edge, double click on this guy, W to pull that up. So we get that transition, and that's exactly what we want, right? Then we're going to go into Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple, and I would say three should be enough. Put them in right there. We're going to jump into this view, After Frame. Q on a keyboard, we're going to right click at the edge, and uh, let's see, we're going to double click on this one, R to scale it in a bit, R to scale that one in a bit, and that one, like so, alright, and then we now have a better idea of uh, the size of this guy right here, so we're going to go to Vertex, drag select, W to pull that down just a little. That should be okay. We're going to go in here, multi cut tool, and what I'm going to do next is hold on shift and I'm going to pull a line at an angle, like so. And let me do that again. And maybe one more time. All right. Q on the keyboard, right click, go to edge. We're gonna double click on this guy, shift double click and shift double click, edit mesh and a bevel. Let's do 0 0.2, that's about right. Then we're gonna go in here to face, we're gonna click and shift double click, click and shift double click, click and shift double click. Right, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and let's do uh, minus 0 0.15, that's a bit much. Minus 0 0.01, that's a bit better. Let's have a look. Let's do a quick preview smooth by hitting three. You can see it, but hardly. So let's hit one to go back. Let's hit Control Z to go back. Okay, and let's hit the Control E again. Zero point zero two, and that would be minus. Okay, we'll go with that, right? Okay, so we have that. We uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, that's that's going to be fine. We're going to go in here. We're going to click and shift double click on this guy. Control E to extrude. 0 0.15, that's way too much. 0 0.015, that's better. And then we are gonna go in here to this one, double click, edit mesh and bevel. Let's do 0 0.1 under fraction. And then we're gonna go in here to face, click and shift double click, control E and Minus 0 0.015. All right. So now that we have that, uh, not too bad. The only thing I want to do next is go in here to enter the edge loop option box. Let's set that to manual. Put one in, I would say somewhere around here. And then hit R and slightly scale that up like this. There we go. And now it's time to do a soft preview and see where we need to add edge loops, right? So we're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna hit W, let's pull that up here. All right, let's go in, let's hit three to preview smooth and have a look. Okay, a couple of areas where we need to add some. So let's hit one and go back. And we especially wanna do that here, okay? So we're gonna go to uh, insert edge loop Oh, where to go? It's still set to manual, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's go in here and let's add one right there and add one right there. And then we'll do one here, here, here. Let me just check that last one. 
there. Q on the keyboard. Let's try that again. Three to preview smooth. That looks a lot better. Now this looks a bit square-ish, but that's not a problem per se. I'm uh, I'm okay with that, and I think it uh, turned out pretty good, right? So let's see if there's anything else we can do or need to do. Um, no, I think it looks all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it, right? So I'm going to hit one and this will be our final model, okay? So yeah, basically a simple way how to create a hammer. Uh, you can make it higher poly or lower poly uh, based on your needs, but uh, yeah, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, as always, uh, let me know and I'll help you if I can. And thank you for watching. See you guys next time, bye.